Engulfing the entire Florida Peninsula. We have rain bands all the way from Jacksonville down into the lower keys and into Cuba. Landfall recorded for the first time in the U.S. from Irma as a category four hurricane over Cudjo Key at 9:10 this morning. And now that I per the latest update is moving due north at nine miles an hour. So we've seen a little bit of a shift in the track a little further east. So what's next in line for Irma? Perhaps Chakaloxy. That's near the uh, western side of the Everglades. And right beyond that, we have Naples and Fort Myers. So where Irma goes, it depends if she takes more of a northwest spin or hits the glades and then heads up. But either way, we see that this I-75 corridor all the way from Tampa Bay down into Fort Myers is in the cone of vulnerability for a second U.S. landfall from Irma. I have this on 3D mode. You see in these outer bands, they have produced numerous tornado warnings for us in excess of 15 since last night and this morning. And when you see this elevation, you know, this lift, this is what uh, we have. The rain wraps around the funnel cloud in the spin because of the sheer force of this counterclockwise motion of this tropical cyclone. I mean, it's crazy to think that the southern end of the outer bands are extending as far south as Cuba and the northern end, the northern reaches all the way up into Jacksonville. And we have wind reports. I just talked to some people back in Atlanta of in excess of 30 miles an hour. That's how far the wind field is. Specifically, hurricane force winds still at 130 miles an hour, no loss of intensity, continue to span out 80 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds extend out 220 miles from the center. So the 11 a.m. visory has a due north motion. That's different. It has the same sort of wind speed, keeping it as a major hurricane, and it will likely be so as it hits I-75, maybe just south of Fort Myers, perhaps, with a major Category 3 hurricane status with 125 to 130 mile an hour winds, which would be a 4. Time will tell. We're tracking this northward motion at 9. It will probably be tonight when we see the secondary landfall sometime about 8 o'clock. And then Irma's not even done. Heads into the Big Bend area of Florida, due west of Gainesville, around Apalachicola, East Point, just a little bit further east to Chiefland, maybe as a Category 1 hurricane, and that would be into Tuesday.